Hello, my name is Mackenzie Austin, and I will be discussing Mexican artist Diego, Diego Rivera. In my presentation, I will give a brief biography of the renowned Mexican artist Diego Rivera. I will also discuss several of his pieces of art as it relates to the pol political and social thoughts of Mr. Rivera. As you will discover that Mr. Rivera was very controversial in his politics and personal life. Nevertheless, he was a brilliant artist. Diego Rivera was born on December 8, 1886, of one of twin boys in Guanajuato, Mexico, to Maria del Pilar Brantos and Diego Rivera Acosta, a rich family. Rivera studied art at the Academy of San Carlos in Mexico City. Rivera quickly went on to become one of the most important and famous artists, famous Mexican artists of all time. And his fresco work helped to establish the thriving Mexican mural art movement. From the 1920s to the 1950s, Rivera traveled all over the Americas. Rivera was controversial because he considered himself a communist and socialist, which explains the theme of his art. A lot of his art represents the struggles, politics, success, and failure of the Mexican people. He often makes old and new politics within his art. Another reason why he was controversial because he was an atheist which means he doesn't believe in God. Between the years of 1914 through 1922, Rivera traveled between France and Italy, studying his art, which helped to inspire his art. The making of a fresco showing the building of a city. This was a controversial piece of art, as stated in my introduction, Rivera was a communist who believed in socialism. This mural attempts to show the connections between artistic works and general labor. Simply put, it shows how everybody works together to build something. Mexico and Mexico today and tomorrow. Rivera often displays different historical pastime periods in one piece of art. He he does just that in this particular piece. In Rivera's words, the mirror represents the entire history of Mexico, from the conquest through the Mexican Revolution down to the ugly present. He includes scenes from the history of modern nation state, includes scenes from the Spanish conquest, the fight for independence from Spain, the Mexican-American War and the Mexican Revolution and imagine future Mexico which, which workers revolution has won. Pan-American Unity. The size of this piece is a whopping 22 tall, two feet tall and 75 feet wide and is made of se five separate panels. It, it was the last major fresco piece he created in the United States. The huge piece attempts to showcase America's development from pre-European tribes to the gigantic skyscrapers that defy 20th century America. There are so many details or subjects to explore. It is located at the Diego Rivera Theater located in California. Dreams of a Sunday afternoon in Alameda Park. This mural depicts a Sunday walk through Alameda Park, Mexico City's first city park that was built on the grounds of an ancient Aztec marketplace. It represents three principal eras of Mexican history, the conquest, the Porfiriato dictatorship, and the revolution of 1910. Rivera includes many prominent Mexican figures within this piece. In conclusion, Diego Rivera was very controversial 
with politics and beliefs. However, he was a well-traveled and extremely talented artist. His art always told the story of his past and present. A lot of his art had different time periods within one piece. There have been so many several movies made about his life within only a short time to highlight his life. There is so much more to this extraordinary artist. I enjoy the fact that he loves to ch challenge everyone's minds. Thank you for being my presentation. Here are my sources.